as you can see each of you have gotten a coin so as you all know we're in our crypto unit we're really teaching about what the puppet makers of society are hiding away from you and making sure you're aware of what happens in crypto how do people make money from crypto and what is really drives crypto what adds value to crypto and i think this activity teaching is good teaching can teach you about what it's about but you'll really get to know if you're actually doing an activity interacting and i won't tell you the lesson yet but you are going to learn at the end of there is a lesson to the madness you'll notice that each of them have different symbols and the catch is each of these different types of coins have different values most of you probably don't know what these symbols mean so that's why it's called crypto bargain because you're going to take a chance you will actually be able to work on your entrepreneurial skills to be able to talk to other people about trading we're going to give you some time to just uh, like go around the room interact with each other there is a there is a, like an element of surprise that you don't know exactly what coin you have so you don't know how much it's worth and please don't search it up that just ruins the entire activity have some fun with it you'll have more fun with it also if you just trade with other people interact with other people get get out of your seats meet the other members of the club and make a trade so the goal is to get to the highest asset value in in about 5 to in about 5 to like 7 8 minutes and those with the highest asset value according to today's market prices will win the competition and i want everyone to know we do have lots of competitions but this time it's just a lesson it's not necessary we're not going to be giving any prizes out but you will get the honor of being the richest crypto investor in the room so without further ado let's not take away any of your time and have fun Now we've done the activity. We want to see who's our crypto investor, crypto king over here. So let's let's get who which of you think you have a chance come up here and we'll start calculating the value. Okay, can we get a drum roll, please? Presenting the crypto investor, Ber Bernie. Yeah. All right, and that's what crypto kind of bases its value on because of what other people see its worth as. When you were making the trades, people only traded with you if they thought it was worth more than what they had. And that's how the trades that's the same thing that happens in the crypto world. When you have all these different coins and everything, some people don't know what they invested in and those coins can either go up or go down. Sometimes you don't know. And that's the same thing you guys made. It was a gamble. You were like, "Okay, let me trade and let's see." Some people made very smart trades. They they saw the big they had Bitcoin and as you saw Bernie over there, he got he got six Bitcoin. But that was chance. That was luck at the same time. Yes, there was some skill involved with the speaking and everything. And yes, in crypto you can learn the terminology, you can understand the value of the coins. But can you really get a good assessment about what it's going to actually be worth? And that's the lesson that I want you all to take away from this crypto activity. Yes, it, I think it was really fun for you to interact, but there's a really cold lesson from this entire encounter that a lot of crypto trades, crypto investing is based a lot on luck. Yeah, crypto is th that type of thing where yes, it's decentralized, but it's also like as we talked about as a currency, it's whatever we make it out to be. It's all speculation. And that goes into volatility. That's what I'm saying that people you you're the sad thing about like the sad thing a lot is kept from like the middle class and the poor and that's what leads to the continued like people staying where they are but if we become educated and understand that hey like this is fun I'll put a little bit of money and I'll be able to be fine without it but there's a good upside 
then that's called being a smart investor about having that financial mindset.